Bronchoscopic lung volume reduction is for patients with uh, severe COPD or emphysema. So emphysema is a disease that is characterized by hyperinflation of the lungs. So the lungs are heavily expanded, and the distribution of the disease is somewhat heterogeneous. And therefore, not only the uh, hyperexpanded lung makes it difficult for patients to breathe, but it also compresses on relatively normal areas of the lung, making it more and more difficult as the disease progresses for the patients to breathe. So bronchoscopic lung volume reduction, as the word implies, is reducing the hyperinflated lung, allowing for the lung to perform better. We were actually a center for the original clinical trial, and we were the first hospital after FDA approval to do this procedure on the West Coast and second in the country. Also, uh, since the approval, we have done the most number of valve procedures in the Western United States. So we have quite a bit of experience doing this procedure, and our outcomes have been good. And therefore, we feel like we are definitely a hospital that can offer a more comprehensive package for patients with this uh, disease, not just for the lung volume reduction, but also a uh, care provider as a whole for that particular disease entity. When patients come to us uh, for bronchoscopic lung volume reduction, we upfront tell them what to expect after the procedure. The expectation is that the valves reduce the hyperinflation over time so they can uh, start seeing benefits a few weeks after the procedure, and uh, we expect the uh, benefits to continue for several months to years after the procedure. The qualifying uh, criteria are based on lung function studies. Uh, the, we have to meet certain numbers, and also they have to be able to be reasonably functional. Uh, they have to walk a certain number of steps uh, uh, during a six-minute walk study, and also they should not have significant high pressures on the right side of their heart, and their oxygen levels should be uh, acceptable. So if they meet the certain criteria, and if they are uh, people that have no other significant morbidities that would prevent them from undergoing anesthesia and the bronchoscopy procedure, then they would be good candidates for the treatment. So if someone thinks that they can benefit from this treatment, we would encourage them to contact us so that we can do the necessary test to see if they qualify, and we will explain the qualification criteria when they contact us.